Dear students, welcome again with a new topic. Now, it is a continuation, obviously, of the previous topic. The we have the rectangular waveguide. Now, this topic is EMWG-S4A. Uh, we are going to discuss in the coming topic. In this topic, in the next coming topic, the the transmagnetic mode and transelectric modes in the rectangular waveguide. So this, the, today's topic, this topic is the trans about the transmagnetic waves or uh, transmagnetic board in the rectangular waveguide. So uh, we have obviously uh, defined the transmagnetic board is the one which have only transfers the magnetic component, uh, but no longitudinal component. Longitudinal component are the 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 is 0, Hz is equal to 0, but Ez is not equal to 0. So, transmagnetic component has the magnetic component which is this one Hy which is the transverse or parallel uh, perpendicular to the propagation of the wave. Now, the wave equation in a waveguide uh, are seen to be a partial differential uh, equations which can be can be solved by assuming the uh, the function of the uh, the product of the function solution we have from the equation uh, last we did the topic of the the rectangular waveguide equation 6 the e field uh, equations given as the delta 2 e z by delta x square delta 2 e z by delta y square plus gamma square e z is equal to minus omega square epsilon mu e z. So, let now uh, represent e z separate now from here the uh, x and y because we are having the e x and e y two parts so uh, two variables we would like to take this out because this is the partial differential with respect to x, partial differential with respect to y. So, let us say that E of z is the function of two independent x and y functions, x is solely and solely depending upon x and y is the function of y. So, we move on and tag this equation, continuation of that topic 29. So, taking the differential of e of z twice we get uh, the following because y is now a constant for that uh, delta uh, y times d 2 x by d x square which is a capital x and similarly d 2 e z by y square is equal to x into d 2 y by d y square. So, e z is being now differentiated with respect to x and y now but totally now as independent not depending. So, but in this case E z uh, was depending upon x and y both. So, let us say now from the so from equation 20 above equation 29 a uh, by putting the respective terms uh, in equation number 20 uh, the above the first uh, term the that is the top equation we have not marked that but equation this is equation number 6 I think. So, what we get uh, this we get y d 2 x by d x square plus x into d 2 y d y by d y square plus gamma square x y is equal to uh, minus omega square epsilon mu x y where e z is equal to x into y. Equation number 30 substituting now the h square as a equal to gamma square plus epsilon mu omega square and dividing the whole equation by x y. So, rearranging this term we what we got we, we took this x y common we get here gamma square plus omega square epsilon mu and that value is uh, uh, being taken as equal to h square and rearranging the term which we get now 1 over x d 2 x y d x square plus h square is equal to minus 1 over y d 2 y by d y square. So, both now variables are there with the, these terms are equal. Equation 31 can be solved by splitting it into two parts 
and equating it to a common constant let's say that constant be a since both the terms are equal let's say these both terms are equal to some constant value so which is a uh, 1 over x d2 x by dx square minus 1 over y d2 y by dy square is equal to a call this question number 31 a now the uh, taking one by one first the uh, the first term is equal to a square which is the we should be having this one again missing somewhere uh, correction bit 1 over x delta d2 x by dx square plus h square is equal to minus 1 over y into d2 y by dy square is equal to a square uh, now that is the taking the each one separately for the x term is equal to a square then the y term a whole term of this equation is equal to minus uh, since minus is there minus a square we call the equation 32 33 so let uh, b square uh, is equal to a square minus a square uh, so the we introduce this term the solution of the equation 32 is of the form f x is equal to c1 cosine cosine of bx if you this one 32 you take so this is h square minus a square that is been equal given as equal to b square so the solution is a second order differential equation and uh, uh, the if you rearrange it and you get d2 x by dx square times h uh, this is the b square x and uh, the each is of the the solution is for the x is c1 cosine of bx plus c2 sine of vx where v is equal to uh, h square minus a square uh, square root similarly solution of the equation 33 is given by y c3 cosine of ay plus c4 cosine of ay equation 34 where a is equal to again h square minus v square square root now solving for ez ez is the x into y putting the values of the x and the y ez is equal to c1 this whole term and c1 c2 c1 uh, and c2 and c3 and c4 along with the, the cosine and the sine functions so multiplying these and rearranging and applying the bounding conditions after multiplication we get four terms at x is equal to 0 for ez for either to be 0 for all value of y c1 should be 0 so at x is equal to 0 we put a 0 so that means the c1 should be uh, 0 with these conditions impose the expression for the ez reduces to the following ez is equal to c2 c3 sine of vx cosine of ay c2 c4 sine of vx sine of ay at y is equal to 0 further we have ez reduces to the, the final c2 c3 sine of px option number 38 since the b cannot be 0 here in this case in the wave equation above equation expression uh, the, there is a chance that either c2 or c3 is 0 so c2 is 0 the e z reduces to uh, uh, 0 uh, reduces to 0 and hence only possibility is that c3 is equal to uh, 0 so what we get the we get ez is equal to c2 c4 sine of bx sine of ay uh, in the above this equation what we get that the this only this term survives while the other term uh, vanishes so we have got the ez is c2 c4 dx sine of ay since c2 c4 be constants and may be substituted by a new constant let's say c c1 c2 is equal to c so e is equal to c sine of vx sine of ay equation number 40 now applying the bounding condition at x is equal to a e z is equal to c times sine of b a and sine of b y because here we have applied the x is equal to a we will apply later y is equal to b as well so for e z to vanish for all values of y b a must be integral multiple of pi so b a is equal to m pi this this thing so where m is equal to 1 2 3 so b is equal to m pi over a so 
that is EZ will vanish, that it will be equal to 0 if the V A is equal to M pi. Similarly, at Y is equal to B, EZ is equal to sine of M pi over A, sine of A, B. Now, similarly, in equation 42, to vanish, to have EZ is equal to 0 for all values of A, B is equal to N pi, where N is equal to 1, 2, 3, and A is equal to N pi over V. Hence, the solution of the EZ is reached or we have obtained it as EZ is equal to C times sine of M pi over A x, uh, x into sine of N pi over B y. Question number 30, uh, 43. Now, this is assignment for the students for the, uh, the for E x solution, okay, uh, from equation 26, uh, putting uh, z is equal to 0, e x is equal to this, can get the solution. So, uh, find this solution from here because now we have got e z over there and the, uh, we can look for the, the solution of that or in that case as well. So, the similarly for h y, we have h y given as, we, as we put h z is equal to 0 solution is obtained. So, go ahead and do this uh, assignment and you will practice this more. So, what we have the, we are left with the, oh, the, the final results that we have E z component in transmagnetic mode. Uh, we, let me write that one. So, the wave propagation we have got is the E x h y E z is not equal to 0 okay this is just a misprint uh, in previous uh, I have corrected that one and h z is equal to 0. So, E z is because E z is surviving this final function we are uh, getting for in the transmagnetic mode this is the, the wave propagation configuration uh, for the transmagnetic mode mode in rectangular waveguide. Okay dear students we reach to the end of the topic and we will continue inshallah uh, the similar way uh, with the coming new topics till then Allah Hafiz. thank you